Hey, this is Darren from AppRadar. Welcome to the video. And today I'm going to be doing a review on deposit photos. Now, it's not quite what I would normally do because I normally review um, softwares, but I wanted to get this video out because um, they've got a deal at this moment in time, but it's expiring over the weekend. Um, and as of recording, um, this is the 21st of May 2022. So um, this came through my email this morning, actually. Now, I've got a project coming up that's going to basically need a lot of images. Um, and I've kind of like worked out the cost uh, that it's going to cost me from some of the other ones that I use, um, like Shutterstock, etc. Um, and it was going to cost me quite a lot of money for the images because I'm going to need around about 60 to 80 images. Um, but this deal came through and it's for $39. Uh, so this has cost me roughly um, £31, um, obviously, because I'm in the UK. Um, so for £31, I got a package of 100 photos, um, which I'll just show you. That is actually my account. So I've got 100 photos there. I literally just bought it. Um, Active Plans, Image Pack, 100 photos. So you get 100 photos, and that's for a lifetime. So it's like a package. So you can't have it. It's not like 100 photos a month or something. You just basically buy 100 photos. But again, that's for a lifetime thing, which basically means that now that I've got this package, I can use them in two years' time, and I've still got this package. I don't have to rebuy them or anything like that. The other reason why I jumped on board with this, um, obviously because it is a steal, um, is because the images may be used for commercial purposes, both online and print. Now, the project that I've got coming up is going to be like more of a commercial project. So I wanted to make sure that I don't have to um, pay any extra or I can actually use these for that commercial project without obviously getting penalised or sued or anything crazy like that. So, as I say, the deal is it's about to expire over the weekend. There's 39 hours left, so I've left a link in the description below. You can go and check that out should you wish to jump on board with this. Because if you get it today, you don't have to use it. You can just get it and then use it as and when you need it. Now, if you do miss this for whatever, so if you're watching this, um, watching this video um, like next week or something after the 22nd of May 2022, um, they do still have some really good plans, um, which I kind of looked at anyway. And I think, you know, I'm once this expires, I probably will use these because I've got um subscriptions in uh shutterstock and adobe um, photos as well but you can sort of see that you've got 30 images for 19 pounds a month again i'm in the uk so it's showing us pounds um but you get 30 images and when you look at the uh the stock photos for shutterstock um, which is the plan that i've got you only get 10 downloads per month for the same price so you're basically getting three times as many um images for 19 pounds or um i guess uh, whether it be 19 dollars or whether it be a little bit more i don't quite know what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you um basically what like deposit photos is and kind of how it works i mean obviously they they all work in the same way but it's got a couple of like little quirky tools which i really like I use Photoshop a lot, obviously, when I'm downloading um, images and I want to crop them and, you know, take backgrounds out and stuff like that. But they've got like a little quirky tool that does that. Okay. Um, so you've got this, um, this Vista Create, which is, I guess it's very similar to uh, Canva, where you can sort of, you know, like create artwork and stuff like that. But you've got a like, free background remover and free image upscaler. So basically what that does, obviously, it says what it does, does what it says on the tin. Um, it removes background um, or it'll basically upscale the image for, for free. So what you do is um, you basically drag and drop the image into there. And it just takes the background out. So you can sort of see that's obviously the original background. And uh, it's keep going. So it does it like really quickly. And the other thing that they have on the tools, which again, which I thought was cool, is the image upscaler. And it basically does exactly the same as what the other one does. You drag your image over. And what it will do, it'll upscale your image basically without pixelating it. Um, so you can see like the original image. Um, 
is 1920 by uh, 1275 and it can upscale it to 384 um, by 2550 um, and then you just basically download it and again that's all free so we'll go back to the dashboard and uh, I'll basically show you, um, you know, how it works and how you download things and whatnot. But again, it, it's self-explanatory, really. They are all the same. So um, if you're doing like a project for um, like your dog training or anything like that, um, you can sort of see the quality of uh, the photos that you get. But you've also got like a lot of filters and things down here, um, which I thought, again, was like quite a neat feature. When you're going to download things, you basically click on um, whichever one you want. Um, and obviously you choose the size that you want. Now, again, all of these, it, it's it's all one price. So if you want the small one, it's going to be one credit. Or if you want the extra large one, it's still going to be one credit. Now, I know a lot of the other... Um, stock sites they don't actually do that um, sometimes I'm sure on Shutterstock the bigger image you want the more credits you use so what I always tend to do is I'll get a bigger image um, you know and then I can use that for any any thing at once if I wanted a smaller image for a, you know like a thumbnail or a bigger image for um, a hero background or something like that um, I can do that so you know you just basically click on download image and that's it um, so that's the review on deposit photos and I'll speak to you again in another video.